PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Rain. I'm PTV's Charity Hart. I'm EO Gifford. Welcome back to this week's show. Today is Thursday, May 6, 2021. I'm PTV's Diego Gifford. Teacher Appreciation Week is going on strong this week and this may be the most crucial year ever to let your teachers know that you appreciate them. Especially because the added stress the pandemic has added with making most teachers do double duty, teaching virtually and in person at the same time. Recent research points to many teachers throughout the country looking into changing the profession or retiring early after what they have endured since March of 2020 when the pandemic started. So now is certainly the time to say thanks for navigating through a wild time for the teachers. We like to give special recognition to some of the teachers who have put in the most time thus far here at PHS. Two years ago, one year ago, one month ago, yesterday. When I First visit was to the health and gym teacher, John Barron's room, who has spent 30 years teaching and 29 of those have been right here at PHS. Next. Julia, Julia, are you online? Stop by Laura Cryer's room. For those who do not know, Miss Cryer teaches history and her 28 year career has been solely here at Plymouth High School. Next, we're paying tribute to Lisa Mercer, who has taught for 32 years. She has been here at PHS for 16 of those years. John Mills, who has 31 years of teaching under his belt, was our next stop. Mills has been teaching at PHS for 24 years. Karen Plotho has spent all 31 years of her teaching career right here at PHS. As for her husband, Tony Plotho, he has 29 years into his teaching career in the past 27 have been here at PHS. Wrap that up so that I can... Business teacher Jean Skirvin wins the prize for the longest teaching career for current educators at Plymouth High School. Skirvin has been education for 40 years. He says the past 24 years have been right here at Plymouth High School. Last but not least, Charlotte Tyree overall has taught for the past 36 years. She says the past 28 years have been here at Plymouth High School. Congratulations to all our veteran teachers for having such an impressive teaching career and happy Teachers Appreciation Week. Well, it's been a busy week for Plymouth High School's culinary class and they've truly gone all out to make teachers feel loved during the Teacher Appreciation Week. Earlier this week, Jill McNeil and her culinary class spent an abundance of time prepping brunch for the PHS teaching staff. The team of a little over a dozen students catered a variation of breakfast items they made and cooked up during Tuesday's morning before school. Then, yesterday, the culinary students made lunch to show PHS students and teachers they are really appreciated. My culinary students mostly will be making all of the, um, all of the foods for both, for both meals. We're trying to do as many things um, from scratch homemade as we can. For the past few weeks, we've been taking you inside the PHS Applied Skills Classroom, highlighting special projects going on. This week, PTV's Rosalyn Lester headed back into the room to highlight a history and national park project the students are currently learning about. Tammy Radikin, who teaches the program, says her students are excited to be completing the Junior Ranger Activity Guide. Radica and her students are hopeful. In the next 15 or so days left of school, they'll be able to visit the nearby Indiana Dunes National Park in Chesterton. If the trip is approved, they'll be able to put their junior guide knowledge into practice with a nature scavenger hunt. Radica says they could also practice their water safety skills, identifying animal prints, and maybe even a talk with a real ranger. As part of the Junior Ranger program, we'll be studying about the five Great Lakes, of course. There is an old homestead called the Bailey Homestead that is on the grounds of the, of the Indiana Dunes National Park. So Potawatomi Indians settled there, so we will definitely be learning about their influence on the area at that time. We're going to be learning about water succession, footprints, animal tracking, insects and wildlife that are natural to that environment. So there's going to be a lot of activities that we're going to be able to do and study and learn about the area around us and where we're growing up at. So we're pretty excited about that and hoping to get to go there and then actually be sworn in as Junior Rangers. Yet this year, the class is also planning to team up with Jill McNeil's vocational culinary class to bake in the kitchen. In other news, the Plymouth High School Fine Arts Department will be presenting the biannual Spring Variety Show tomorrow and Saturday. Both shows will be at 7 p.m. in the PHS Auditorium. New this year, to help follow our local COVID protocols, there will be guidelines, and there will be no cash exchange 
or any on-site ticket sales. All tickets are being sold in advance through an online ticket site, PlymouthHS.BookTix.com. Ticket sales are now open and you may attend the event by purchasing your tickets in advance. Tickets are general admission seating and we will be limited on how many tickets can be sold for an indoor performance. It is highly recommended that you purchase your tickets ASAP to guarantee there will be seats available. The theme this year is PHS Quarantines and the event pays tribute to a life as a student and teacher during the pandemic. This year's show features incredible student talents from band, choir, orchestra, and theater departments. New this morning, PTV is giving away a PHF Athletic Big Red discount card. All you have to do is enter the question on screen correctly. Which of the four PHS administrators played the most sports when they were in high school? Principal Jim Condon, Assistant Principal Jen Felke, and Josh Martin, or Ken Olson. Again, the question is, which PHS administrator participated in the most sports throughout their four years of high school? Simply email your answer to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us and we use a random selector app to pick an email we receive. If you answer correctly, you win. Next week, we will share the answer and who wins. Switching gears to some PTV sports news, the girls track team held a senior night this past Tuesday against undefeated conference rival Warsaw. After traveling on the road to Mishawaka High School and placing eighth in the 16 team competition, the Lady Pilgrims honored six seniors this past Tuesday evening. Those seniors are Maggie Bradway, Rachel Calor, Claudia Marone, and Fatima Ramirez, Morgan Reed, and Brittany Poirier. Tyler Ritchie was at Tuesday night's meet and captured this video for us. Congratulations, ladies, for having a successful track season. Coach Norman and team really appreciated each of your contributions. In the two weeks come tomorrow, we'll be streaming live the 2021 PHS Senior Warms program through our YouTube channel. The event is slated to be held on Friday, May 21st, beginning at 8.15 a.m. and could run for three hours long. Last year, the event was virtual, but this year, the event will take place in the PHS Varsity Gym with the class of 2021 and their family members. Make sure to save the date and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified when we are live. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. I'm PTV's Dale Gifford. Thank you for your support, PHS. We leave you today with a look at our exclusive prom video. Enjoy. stand where they will tell you your next step. Number one, Mariana Arroyo. Number two, Celia Richardson. 30? And our third winner of the evening, Grace Cooper.
number two, Donald Saxton. Donald head on over. And our final winner of this draw, Matthew Dobach. Michael and Al. 